Sharon Leonard. I'm 58 years old. I live in Lakeland, Florida. I was diagnosed with four stage pancreatic cancer in December of 07. I've been under chemotherapy since then. I'm still undergoing chemotherapy. I also take a target pill which targets um, certain tumors in my liver since I had metastasized to my liver. Uh, the one unfortunate thing about pancreatic cancer is that the symptoms are so vague that it's often caught in a late stage versus in an early stage, which happened in my case. It's not common in women, which is another thing, so I don't think they often look for it in women or thinking that as a possibility. Chemotherapy, um, I have every Tuesday for three weeks with a week, excuse me, with a week off, and then I have CAT scans and MRIs done every two months, plus something called tumor markers done about every two months. That tells, tells me the, my, where my tumor cells are and how much they've grown or advanced. Um, I'm having CAT scans and MRIs being done this Friday, and I'll have the results back next Tuesday, so I'll know how my progress is as of right now. Since the last scans done two months ago, I had made some progress. Some of the tumors in the liver had decreased, and the pancreatic cancer itself had stopped growing a bit. So that was good news. So now we have to see if that progress has continued. Um, cancer and chemotherapy have both changed the lives of my, me and my family. Um, they all help drive me to the cancer centers by taking turns. They stay here with me when I have my first treatments. I'm usually the first day and the second day. Usually weak um, discomfort. I don't have too much vomiting anymore, so that's good. So they take out of their daily schedules and their work schedules to come and stay with me. Uh, the fatigue with the disease itself is overwhelming, so it's hard to do things that I used to do, like garden and actively play with my grandchildren and spend a lot of time up. Um, usually after about an hour I'm fatigued and I need to go and lay down again take a bit of a rest. I had to quit teaching, which is, was a big decision for me to decide. I'm a kindergarten teacher and I love teaching kindergarten, so to have to give that up right now was a really big sacrifice. It's been a shock for my family and I think they're handling it as well as can be ex expected. My um, family is fair, what, fairly grown. I have a younger daughter, she's only 24, and then I have a son who's 31 and a son who's 29. So it's a young family with uh, two young grandchildren. I have a lot to live for. So on the other hand, I'm very thankful that I have chemotherapy, that it's going to give me a chance to fight this disease, that I can um, hopefully outlive the prognosis with this disease of six months to a year.